Hey, YouTubers. D. Bizzle here. Um, okay, so let's talk about Superman again and the whole thing of... Now, I already said I in my last video that I think it's completely unnecessary for to make John bisexual. The one thing I will say about like DC Comics though, if their stories were good, if they had actual competent writers, people would not care. They they would not care if the stories were good. And if they had good writers. But you know the crazy thing is. It's not like they got some hack off the street. To write like this. Like um, Superman Son of Kel-El. Uh, the comic book. No they got Tom Taylor. Who is famous for Injustice and Deceased. Which that's crazy to me. That like. That they would, like, pick him to do this and not someone like Vita Ayala or even, like, Brian Menkel Bendis. But probably Bendis was probably, like, nah. I, I just think they should, like, take characters that they already have that are really good characters and, like, push them in the forefront. But then thinking about it now, I don't really want that to happen because... All they're going to do is focus on their sexuality instead of, like, what good characters they are. Like, look at Jericho. Jericho literally came out as bisexual in, like, the last year. And, like, he was still a good character. He just happened to be a bisexual. And, like, no one, no one cared. Like, it wasn't a big deal. Because, like, no one really knew about Jericho. Yeah, there were some news articles and stuff that talked about it. But mainly those ones that talked about it were ones that also talk about, like, other pop culture-y things. Um, this whole Jonathan Kent Superman thing is bigger because people are leaving out the fact that it is Superman's son, Jonathan Samuel Kent. And it is not Clark Kent. And... Most YouTube videos and articles are being like, oh, Superman's gay now. And that's all people see. And they're running with it to Twitter and, like, Facebook. And it, just no. Now, again, I'm in no way saying that this was a good idea. <sighs> Trash. It's terrible. This will probably get me some more dislikes. But, I mean... If you can't have an opinion and speak your opinion, then you may as well go to, like, one of those communist, like, places and just, like, live there where you don't have an opinion. Like, your feelings aren't valid. You literally don't have any freedom whatsoever. Again, that's what I love about, like, America. Like, you have this freedom and all of this shit pledged to the flag. Um... Yeah, but I'm getting off topic. I I just think, like, all this is going to do is take more, like, LGBTQ plus characters and, like, push them back. Because this, this is their new thing now. Uh, making characters sexuality is different different from when they started and people are like oh well john john uh he he's allowed to grow since he's a new character but he's been established as straight though like i mean he's he had like crushes on kathy then he had a crush on raven and then he had a crush on uh i think her name was maya she was the nobody like, the girl version of nobody. Um, so, yeah. He's had crushes on girls. Like, they've never hinted at And people are like, oh, well, he was a child. But he can have crushes on all these girls, and it's fine. Uh, for, to show that, but then, okay. And it be established that he likes girls and, like, women, <laughs> or females, uh, 
but then he like comes out as like bisexual like later after the whole Bendis age up debacle. Didn't he even like kiss Saturn Girl in the Legion of Superheroes issue? Mm hmm. I, I just I don't know what to do with like DC. Like I was thinking about boycotting, but then like. What about their movies? Their live action movies. Like, I want to see the Batman. And, like, I want to see more of their movies. But. I don't know at this point. Their comic books just aren't it. I highly recommend back issues. Like. Batman and Superman and other stuff. Even, like, Rebirth Superman. When John was, like, younger. Those are really good. I highly recommend those. Um. Hell, I'd personally say, like, New 52 Teen Titans, even though I'm not the hugest fan of the New 52, like, Teen Titans, uh, I would recommend it over this shit, because at least they're still, like, trying to tell a story. It may not be a very good one, but it's still better than this malarkey that they're trying to push onto us. Which, which is terrible, because... I, I've said it before. I like gay characters. I do. Like, I like straight characters. Um, I I don't care, like, who they're sleeping with. I, I do not care. But... <sighs> brain fart. Um, let me slow down. But I definitely think that, like, DC needs to slow down with everything that they're trying to do and push and take a hard look in the mirror and ask themselves, is this making them money? Like, doing all this pandering, or should they just, like, go back to making good stories with good characters who happen to be straight or gay or whatever? And, I mean, that that's just my two cents. Um, yeah, but thanks for watching, tubers. Um, bye.